economic effects of taxation what is the effect of taxation on distribution of income due to the different nature of taxes so you can have progressive income taxes regressive income taxes so what are the effects of all of this direct taxes are those which are directly on the income of the individual directly on the wealth of the individual and the main point is that these kind of taxes they cannot be shifted to others these taxes are directly imposed on individuals or firms and can't be shifted to others so what are the examples examples are income tax corporate tax so corporate tax is going to be imposed on the individual who is uh, or on the firm who has earned this profit and the property tax so you will be uh, liable to pay this tax then you have indirect taxes these are the taxes which are imposed on the purchase of goods and services so the taxes imposed on that purchase so on every purchase we have to give some tax to the government so that is what is called the indirect tax on the purchase of goods and services so what could be the example of indirect tax the best example of indirect tax is is gst goods and services tax gst right excise duty customs duty and they could be passed on to the end consumer but direct taxes they cannot be shifted but indirect taxes can be shifted so for example i am the producer you are buying something from me so and the government has imposed a tax on this particular product it is not possible for the government to run after each and every consumer who is using the product but it can easily uh, catch hold of the producer who is selling the product so when when the producer uh, has to pay the tax the producer is going to pass on some amount of some amount or some burden of the tax to the consumer so in this way the burden of the indirect tax it can be shifted to the others right direct taxes they cannot be passed on while indirect taxes they can be passed on right so that is one uh, thing okay what are the different effects of taxation on the production on the distribution effects of taxation on production when the taxation is going to be imposed for example let's say direct taxes are being imposed or uh, income tax has been imposed now it is affecting my profit margin then corporate tax has been has been increased it is going to affect my profit margin so this is going to increase the overall cost of production right it can lead to the reduced profit margin and it can also lead to increased cost of production for me right imposition of direct taxes on income or profits can lead to increase in the cost of production and the decrease profit margin right right so for example uh, if the taxes are going to be imposed on production so for example government gives certain kind of incentives government says that okay fine you produce this kind of product we will give you tax incentive you may not have to pay taxes for the next two years or you set up a plant here Uh, we will give you a tax holiday so these incentives tax incentives can increase or decrease the production right so tax incentives on some kind of product and not on the others so people would want to produce these kind of products and not the others so on whatever product or on the good government is going to give the tax incentive the production of that is going to increase relative to the others on which the tax incentives are not given so government might say okay fine we are giving you tax holiday for the next 2 years if you are going to set up the plant here so everybody would want to set up the plant there i'm very simplistically speaking it doesn't happen that way but supposedly if the government says okay we want to increase the production of this particular commodity and if anybody produces it we are going to give a rebate in the taxes so the production of that thing is going to increase tax incentives on certain industries or activities may encourage production in those sectors right so if the taxes are going to be very high this is this can uh, disincentivize investment if the taxes are going to be low it can incentivize the investment so tax incentives can also influence the investment behavior tax incentives can influence investment behavior okay then there are uh, effects of taxation on the distribution of income right so suppose it leave the uh, progressive income taxes are being imposed so progressive income taxes are what progressive income taxes are those as your income is going to increase the proportion of the tax which you have to pay that is also going to increase 
if your income is low maybe you do not have to give any tax so what happens is that if you are very rich then you will have to uh, give higher proportion of the taxes to the government because you have to give higher proportion of taxes to the government so government can use the tax revenue for the redistribution of income in terms of various social welfare programs right so government can have the poverty reduction program or a uh, reduction of social inequities program so for that that revenue could be used progressive taxation can be used to redistribute wealth and reduce income inequality if you are going to impose higher taxes on the individuals who have very high income so that tax revenue could be used for uh, the redistribution of income that can be used for the welfare programs which are going to help in the reduction of uh, income inequality right and this point i have already told you that this this tax revenue can be used for the welfare programs to fund welfare programs there are two sources for the government one the government can uh, impose the taxes or borrow but in that case government will have to repay this back right it's easier for the government to impose taxes but there are problems even in increasing the taxation a lot right tax revenues are used to fund social welfare programs and government initiatives to support low income individuals there are some other effects of the taxation so effects of taxation on employment price stability the tax revenue could be used to fund the developmental projects we would need labor for that so tax revenue when used to fund developmental projects is going to increase employment in the country right supposedly there is high inflation in the economy so high inflation means people have excess money with them they are demanding goods and because of their increased demand prices are increasing government can use the tax policy in that so government can impose taxes it will take the excess money from the people because their extra income will be gone they will have lesser amount of money left with them they will be demanding less their demand is going to fall prices are going to fall as a policy can also be used curb inflation you with me this is uh, what i wanted to do in a very simple recording of the economic effects of taxation right thank you very much